it. We try to be as objective as possible. And I can tell you, I've been working here for over a year and a half, and Alex Jones is totally committed to this stuff. He's he's putting everything he can into trying to get this out in as many different venues as possible. So I appreciate your support. Thank you. Uh, Carl in Washington. Carl, what did you want to say? Uh, can you hear me there, David? Yeah, gotcha. Go ahead. Um, I wanted to make a comment, and then I had a question for you. Um, comment was, uh, did you see that uh, guy that testified uh, in Oregon uh, here a couple of days ago? Uh, Mark Kelly? You're talking about the astronaut? No, the uh, is Manny uh, Ramirez. Or, uh, uh, hang on, we're right at we're out of time. Yeah, we just had Mark Kelly, who is a former astronaut. I guess uh, they asked him about Jared Lofner and the shooting of uh, that was down in New Mexico because he was uh, sorry Arizona because he testified in favor of gun control and then immediately went down to the police shooting range. That's the kind of hypocrisy that we've seen from Diane Feinstein. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base. Nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield Nascent Iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield Nascent Iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll free 888 253 3139. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. 
And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. He aligns himself with the truth, and it's time for you to choose a side. You're listening to Alex Jones. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex, and we were just talking to Carl in Washington. I wanted to get Carl's comments. He brought up the article that Mikhail Phelan had on Friday. Man who fled communism blasts Oregon lawmakers for their gun control attempt. Carl, what did you want to say about that? Well, I, I didn't know if you had a chance to listen to it, but this uh, video should in some way become the um, poster man of... Uh, the Second Amendment, because it's awesome. And uh, and then my question, I'll throw this at you, too, is isn't there some kind of legality w with uh, government, whether federal or state, funding their, their uh, garbage of trying to sell the public uh, and using our tax dollars to do that? There's got to be a way that that's got to oh, be yeah. illegal. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's uh, they do propaganda all the time. They've got ad agencies that do propaganda. They've got this whole thing called the government school system <laughs> that is basically selling their agenda constantly. But yeah, I haven't seen that video yet, but I have seen one from a uh, Chinese fellow who was speaking at a gun control rally in Massachusetts about a year ago. Very, very compelling testimony because he was at Tiananmen Square when that happened. And he said, you know what, if we had... The weapons, Tiananmen Square, wouldn't have come down the same way as it did. That's something very important to remember. Now, this article that uh, Carl was just talking about, Carl from Washington, Mikhail Phelan put up on InfoWars on Friday. He's got a couple of quotes from the video. He says, this is the fellow who escaped communism in 1962. He escaped from Cuba. His name is Manuel Martinez. And he said, don't sell me this, this gun control. A very powerful man tried to sell me this. 50 some odd years ago, and I didn't buy it. This is Marxism, plain and clear. He said they put this dog and pony show on saying, hey, we're going to protect you. No, what they did was to enslave a country. They destroyed a country the same way that this country is going to be destroyed if we continue in this fashion. This is what you are selling here. You know, when we were at the Alamo, we asked the uh, Alex and Anthony Gucciardi, I was filming, they asked if they would confiscate the guns if given the order to do so. And they hedged and hedged and hedged and finally said, well, it's a hypothetical scenario. And they pointed out, your oath to the Constitution is not a hypothetical. They train on hypothetical scenarios all the time, but they wouldn't give a straight answer. And that was a very clear, yes, I would confiscate, just like the police chief in New Orleans did. And, you know, at the Alamo, they, so many people uh, who are both English or Spanish or Hispanic will, will try to portray that as a group of Anglos taking, taking from Mexico the territory of Texas. But we need to understand, just as Alex pointed out to Piers Morgan, Santa Ana tried to take the guns. Santa Ana came to power and revoked the Constitution in Mexico and started confiscating guns. And it wasn't just Texas. You know, there were Anglos as well as Hispanics that were fighting at the Alamo and fighting Santa Ana. But it wasn't just Texas. You know, there were... 11 provinces, 11 provinces that rebelled against Santa Ana. And there were three provinces that actually formed their own government. That was Tejas, the Rio Grande, and the Yucatan. Now, of all those three, only Texas survived. Only Texas was able to free themselves from Santa Ana, who was a military dictator. He came to power with a military coup. He threw the Constitution out. He started confiscating weapons, just like Fidel Castro. And it isn't a Spanish thing. It isn't a German thing. It's a government thing. It's democide. It's what they do when they confiscate the weapons. They want to be the only ones to have weapons. That empowers them. Whenever weapons are concentrated in the hands of a few people, 
you always have despotism. You always have democide. And you know, it's not just the firearms. We've got something coming down the lane that is far more dangerous. Something that is going to affect the police themselves if they continue to go along with this tyrannical agenda. And that is the government owning weapons that are remotely controlled, robots, drones, that sort of thing. At that point, they're no longer going to need the police to enforce their laws. Now you're going, at that point, you're going to have so much power concentrated in the hands of so few people. It is very difficult at that point to try to pull that back. We're going to need all the firearms we can get if we can't stop the military industrial complex from the militarization that they're doing now and then turning that over so that just a few people in some underground bunker in the middle of the continental United States can remote control their terrorism on everybody. This will involve everyone, not just the citizens. It will involve the police because they will at that point no longer need the police. Let's go to the heretic in Washington. Heretic, you got something to say? Hello, David. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing real good. You guys are stealing my material. About 15 years ago, I came up with the expression, the feral grab it. <laughs> okay, good. I like that one even better. Yeah, that's good. Where I want to go, it's maybe a little presumptuous, but I want to take it to a, a degree that Alex was going to bring up about 15, 16 months ago. And that was Representative Larry McDonald on mm -hmm. Crossfire back in the 1980s before he was excommunicated on flight 007. Right. All of the agenda of the, the New World Order was brought to the fore in that interview. So if you guys can definitely get that up and running and play it about once a month. Oh, he was very, very, very articulate man, wasn't he? Such, yes, a, you, such a shame to lose him. He, he really knew what was going on, and he was able to hold his own in a debate with anyone. It was, he was truly an amazing person, a real patriot. Right. That one particular interview on Crossfire with uh, Louis Rukeyser and Pat Buchanan, mm -hmm. it literally went to the crux of the U.N. world order, including the confiscation worldwide of firearms. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, you know, the U.N. arms trade treaty is something that we have talked about here repeatedly. It is something that even though it's been pushed back time and time again, it is still in play. They never give up on any of these tactics. And we need to understand that the core thing about the U.N. arms trade treaty is that they're they're going to say that they're going to stop the movement of arms across borders in any direction. Now, of course, to do that, they need universal registration, not only of guns, but of ammunition. That's what they want to do. I was at the UN when they were debating it last, uh, it was in uh, July, not last July, it was July 2012. And Fast and Furious was set up to create the case that they needed the UN Arms Trade Treaty. But of course, that blew up in their face, and it really blew up right about the time that they had scheduled to bring it to a vote. So they said, wait, we're not going to do it now. We don't want to uh, interfere with the American elections that were coming up in a couple of months. So they said, we'll have it right after the elections. And sure enough, the day of the election, as they saw that they were going to have more Democrats in the Senate, that Obama was going to be reelected, they said, we're going to revisit this again in the spring. We have to be very careful about that. That is the stated purpose of the UN Arms Trade Treaty. They want to register everyone's firearms, everyone's ammunition. That is another, they, they take multiple approaches to this. This is a multi-pronged attack. They don't just come after us with Mayor Bloomberg and his guys. They don't just come after us with gun laws at the local level. They come after us with laws at the local level, at the state level, at the national level, and at the United Nations level. We have to understand that the empire is always going to strike back as you hear this. They may be down, but they're not out. We had some victories last year, but we need to stay on point. And we're going to be right back. We're going to have some more of your calls, so stay tuned. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. Be 
these are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the Life Straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic Relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When Disaster Strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe, used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes...